And then I just remember lo- turning around to him, looking at him and being like, I'm never gonna let that happen again. Your dad was telling a, a funny story that's now kind of uh, famous about your early days in uh, swimming. Uh, you used to have fun in the showers. Oh, man, he told you that. Oh, uh, yes. I mean, as a little kid growing up, I, I mean, I just I loved being in the pool. I loved uh, swimming, but like the funnest thing was me trying to get kicked out of practice every day. Because if I got kicked out of practice, that means I can go in the showers, I can clog up all the drains and make it like a big old slip and slide, put shampoo on the floor and just eat candy and slip and slide. You know, and I'm out on the pool deck coaching and the next thing I look and out of the locker room door, I'm seeing the water starting to flow out and I'm like, oh God. Uh, We went through a lot of suits at that time. You know, he wore literally holes through the the butt of his cheeks. This gray hair I have was from him. (laughs) I I probably uh, asked him to leave practice more with him than any other combined swimmers that I had, ever. What's your earliest memory in the water? Um, The one that I could really remember is, I was about eight years old and it was like, I want to say like a 25 like freestyle or or 25 backstroke and I won. And instead of getting a ribbon, I wanted to win because if you, the winners in each heat got a little bag of candy. I'm like, what? This is awesome. I was like, I have to win. So I remember just winning and getting this bag of candy. I'm like holding up. I'm like, yes, I did it. I did it. (laughs) I want to take you back to when you were 14 years old. That was in a way, I think a turning point for you because you had just lost, I believe in the junior Olympics. You're yes. in the car driving with Drive your dad. Home. The conversation's what? It, was, it wasn't much conversation. I was dead silent. I was quiet, just staring out, out, out of the window. And I remember him coming to me, um, him saying, being like, hey, what's wrong? I'm like, oh, nothing. He's not, no, what? What's wrong? I lost. He's like, well, what are you going to do about it? He thought for about... 30 seconds to a minute. And he looked up at me, and I've never seen this uh, expression on his face ever since that time. And he gave me this really strange, eerie look. And then I just remember turning around to him, looking at him and being like, I'm never gonna let that happen again. Uh, It was my turning point in my swimming career. Because after that, I said that, I I wasn't trying to get kicked out of practice anymore. I was there and I was training harder training faster, and my friend that would always beat me for the high point, um, he never beat me again. How do you take winning or losing? Uh, With a grain of salt. (laughs) Um, You know, one of my challenges that I have in swimming is I swim so many multiple events. Um, and I do that because it's so hard. Anyone can like become just a straight backstroker or a straight freestyler. It's so hard to train because you have to train for every different stroke in order to do the individual medley. And I love a challenge. So there's been times where I got last or I got beat. And then like 20 minutes later, I had another race where then I just put it behind me and then I was able to win. Um, and I've kind of done that through not just swimming, through everything. Like, you can't change the past, but you can change the present and then the future. For a lot of people, the sport's 24-7. Uh, I know at least for a long time when you were growing up, it was not the case for you, and you felt that benefited you a lot. And, yeah. you know, your dad even spoke about how uh, when he was training you, he, he was intentional in limiting the number of hours that you were in the pool, so you peaked later in, in life. Um, mm-hmm. What about now, though, in terms of kind of 24-7 commitment? It goes back to when my dad was coaching me, is on the pool deck, it was always coach. Never said dad, it was always coach. Coach, 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 and as soon as we left the pool deck, we never talked about swimming. We'd be at home, never talked about practice, um, and it was my dad. I was ne- it wasn't coach, it was my dad. And then when I get back to the pool, it's like I'm clocking in again. It's back to the um, 
it's back to just training. And it, I still do it to this day, like swimming, swimming. Um, I leave swimming at the pool. And then when I get home, I'm a dad. I get to have fun. Um, so it's, yeah, I mean, I love it.